Daily Broadside, day 203. Yesterday I went and had a, went to a Japanese steakhouse and watched a teppanyaki chef perform for everybody. You know, the big table, eight people, watching them do all their little tricks. Not to be confused with hibachi, teppanyaki is actually the art that we're talking about. And uh, I was pretty disappointed. Felt like I could be a teppanyaki chef after yesterday's display. Because the guy came out, grabbed his little spatula, uh, tapped it on his knife in the table a couple times, and then spun the spatula a couple times. A minute or two later, flipped uh, three things of rice into a guy's face. And that's all we did. No uh, flaming onions, no uh, volcano made of zucchini, no fire, no, no, it was really pathetic, um, and, you know, the food is, eh, I mean, it's, you, you pay for the entertainment, you don't go because, I mean, rice tastes like rice, we can make that at the house, you know, but, uh, I can't entertain myself flipping knives around and stuff, I want there to be danger involved, I'm looking at the other tables, and they were just as lackluster, shame on you, Makotos, or whatever you're called, little trick to going at Chipotle, when you get your bowl, take it to your table, and with the lid on, this is an important step, with the silver lid on, flip it over. It mixes all the ingredients very well, and then uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, I bet the worst part about a dystopian world whereby you know, nuclear winter is set in and everything's just gone to pot, I bet the worst thing about that is finding out you're pregnant. You're like, God, I've got to go through this dystopian world carrying a baby. That's That's got to be the worst way to... Uh, to deal with that kind of stuff and never mow your grass without weed eating and trimming um it just looks crappy and you might as well have not done the former if you're not going to do the latter they're partners in crime you should treat them that way and uh i guess it was last week that the biden administration um gave a you know a free ride to everybody that was sitting in prison for uh marijuana possession made it a federal outlaw and whatnot such smoke and mirrors. Ain't nobody sitting up there on weed charges just for possession. I mean, you got to make that a state level thing if you're going to make any kind of inroads on that. that. That's such pandering for upcoming midterms. It's not even funny. And to hear Kamala talk about weed after admitting to smoking it and then, on the other hand, putting all those people in California in prison for it as a district attorney. You ain't got no clout to be taught. You, you should never even mention the word marijuana again because, uh, again, you've got no room to talk after your track record.